Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn anonymous function in Scala programming language. Anonymous function are functions which don't have any names. Now the question is that if a function is not having any name, how we are going to use? So let's see some simple anonymous function. So uh, let's define a simple anonymous function which prints hello world so that function will not going to take any parameter it simply print hello world so uh, how you can define a anonymous function first you need to specify how many parameters that function is going to have so we are not going to write def and then function name we just simply writing braces so in this braces if there is any parameter that function is going to use you can specify their data type so initially we are going for simple functions so and so we are defining an anonymous function without any argument so we are not specifying any argument here and after using this sign in this right side we have to specify the logic so left side this is for parameters type how many parameters and what are their types and this right side we will use for logic so what we want to do we want to use this anonymous function for printing hello world now the question is that this function is not having any name so how are we going to use it so one way is that you can assign this function to a variable so when we actually write this one, this function, we are not assigning this function. Every anonymous function is actually having an object. So we are assigning that object to this function. Now, uh, how to call this function? So there is one way you can write apply. So this is the one way. Uh, you can use apply method to call an anonymous function, which is related to this object f. Or you can write f. So uh, this one is the preferred one because we need no need to write apply every time we want to call this function. So let's remove it and let's see the execution whether it's working or not. So we will compile our program and we will run it. So it's working. Now uh, let's define some anonymous function with parameter so let's say we want to define a simple anonymous function uh, which will perform addition on two numbers and those two numbers we are going to pass at the time of function calling so here what we are going to do we we need two parameters so here we will declare parameter 1x data type integer parameter y data type integer and what this function will do this function will return addition of these two number so we need to write simply just x plus y so this anonymous function automatically will conclude that it is having two parameters and it will return summation of these two number so these two number are having integer data type so return type will be integer so we no need to write that part whatever you want to return just write here if you want to return some string you can write that string as well so initially we are going for integer so we want to see whether it's working or not we will call it we will call it for 12 and 23 we will save it compile our program again and run it so it's working now let's say uh, here we are changing this one from integer data type to string so what we are value so we are returning a string because this is a string these two number will be converted into a string and will be concatenated with this one so we want to see now we will compile this program we will run it so at this time it's returning as a string so if you have noticed it actually returned value 12 23 because this is actually working as a concatenation so what we want we want this addition to be performed first and 
concatenation later. So we will see the execution now. So now it's working fine. So this is the simple example of using anonymous function. You can specify any number of parameter here. You can specify logic here. So in case if your logic is in, uh, exceeding lines, so you can enclose that logic in curly braces. So normally, uh, anonymous function we actually use for short functions. So we can write that entire logic in one line. But in case if it's exceeding, you can enclose in curly braces. Thank you very much for watching.